not just any artist. He's, I think one can call him an extraordinary artist. Uh, he's based in the Northern Cape and uh, his, his works are hanging all over the world and he is doing such incredible work and has got a wonderful, wonderful history actually. And, uh, and, and this is what can happen when we promote our local talent. And, and this is a story you're going to hear. Uh, behind me, you can actually see his artworks and we're gonna talk about them in a short while. Uh, the, the man I'm talking about is uh, Philip Matlojo and it's so good to have you on the program. Welcome to Morning Live. Good to have you here, yeah. thanks. So, so Philip, you're based in Kimberley. I'm based in Kimberley, yes, oh. in the Northern Cape. Awesome. And how long how long have you been painting for? Um, it started at the age of six, while I was still a young boy, you know. And um, it started when you know I still remember back then, when my mom was still busy, you know, in the kitchen preparing food for us, and I had like a you know a little piece of paper and a pencil. Yeah. And while she was busy preparing the food, that what it was that time when I was trying to capture, her, you know. And at that time. It was when they discovered that, no, the, uh, one day I'm going to be, you know, a, a great artist. So, yes. so your first subject was your mother cooking in the kitchen? Exactly, oh, exactly, exactly. That's amazing. Now, who saw this talent? Who, who tapped into this talent that you had? Um, it was, it, it, it is Mr. Dawson Whitehead, you know, who was my mentor at the Kimberley Arts Centre at that time. You know, because I came to the old man, he's 87 years of age. So I said to Mr. Whitehead, you know, this is what I am doing, you know, um, because also before I became an artist, you know, at that time, I was also a pansula dancer, you know, like, you know, appearing on Shell Road to Fame. I was one of the finalists at Shell Road to Fame at that time. Yeah. You know, and then I said to myself, now I have to like choose between dancing and art. So it was when I decided that no, I'm going to stick with my art skills. Yeah. And then uh, with sticking with these art skills, they've taken you to amazing places. In fact, you actually studied in, in Ethiopia. You were on a scholarship there. Exactly. You know, it was uh, in 2006 when I got my breakthrough, you know, um, from the National Heritage Council, you know, and at that time, you know, it was when I got a call from uh, Dr. Soma Dora Fikeni uh, from the National Heritage Council, you know, and Dr. and, and, and the advocate Sonobile Manyotra from the National Heritage Council. So the scholarship that I got, it was like, you know, for me to go and study a very rare technique called painting on animal skin. Yes. That was in 2006. And since then, from then, you know, I started to, to focus more on the skin technique than on the pencil and charcoal. You see, and you're the only person in the country that does this type Actually, of art. There are nine. There are nine of you know, from each province, one. Oh, good. But to me, it seems as if right now I'm the only one who's doing it, you know, full time. Okay. Because of some of the other guys, you know, they are not like too much focusing on on on, on the art, uh, on the skin technique. Let's talk about some of your pieces, and we've got them here uh, behind us, and some of the pieces that you've done for people around the world. So, here we go. Here's our first one. Um. This is the late Solomon Sticks Morewa, you know. Um, I was not commissioned to do this painting, but uh, it came to my, you know, to my senses that, no, I, I need to do this picture, you know, in, in order for, for people to see that we shouldn't forget, you know, where we come from. And it's because of this man that we have, uh, you know, our local uh, soccer stars and, you know, the teams. And uh, here we have uh, Seb Blatter, you know, also on animal skin. This is also what I did, you know, like I said, I was not commissioned, but you know, like when I'm in my studio, um, doing my pictures is like also part of my practice. Yes. I can't just sit and say, no, today I'm not going to paint. I can't do that. No, no. You know, always I have to do something like, you know, painting and sketching and that, you know, it also at the same time, it helps also and it, it improves my, 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 my technique on a daily basis. Would you love him to have that? I mean, if... For sure. For you would. Sure, so I mean, if, sure. if somebody's watching and they can get hold of Sepp Blatter and tell him that there's the most amazing painting of him on an animal skin, yeah, I think he know, would love I'm, that. I'm still planning also to do a painting of, you know, Dr. Ivan Koza, Keza Mutaung, and also um, Danny Jordan. So it will be uh, Sepp Blatter, it will be Stix Murewa, and, you know, Danny Jordan, Ivan Koza, and Keza Mutaung. Yeah. So then they could see maybe where they can put them up, you know, in their corridors, you know, in the SAFA offices yeah. and stuff like that, yeah. you know. And I also did a painting of uh, Mr. Nikki Oppenheimer, the chairman of the BS, you know. And um, also, I would like him to have this painting also, you know, and maybe put it up in his office, you know, and see that uh, we, have, we have talent here in South Africa, you know. That's, that's, that's also a good art piece that I did for him. That's 
amazing. Please, if, if you're watching and you know Nikki Oppenheim, if you can get hold of Seb Blatter and if you could tell these guys that they have got some of the most amazing portraits of themselves waiting for them to be given as a gift, uh, you know, on an animal skin made by one of uh, our, our, I suppose, most incredible upcoming artists. I know, I mean, we're talking about stuff that you weren't commissioned to do because you've com been commissioned. I've got to go back to Joe Berg now because I know there's, there's other stuff to do on the program, but you've also, I mean, you've been commissioned to do so many works for uh, the General Secretary of the United Nations, uh, Dr. Butrus Butrus Ghali. I know you did something then um, back in 2010 as well and, and, and many other pieces. So I hope that this is just the start of an incredible career for you. For sure. And also, Leanne, I would like to, 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 to use this opportunity, you know, just to say thank Thank you to the National Heritage Council because it is, it is because of them, you know, where I am today. If it wasn't for them selecting me, you know, to go and study this technique, then I don't know, you know, what of what of people have said about me today. But it's because of the National Heritage Council, you know, Dr. Fikeni and, and advocates to Nobile yeah. and not forgetting Amos Mulauzi. You know, that guy is, is, is like he was like on my case, like calling me and say, Hey my man, I'm coming down to Kimberley. Where are you? Yeah. We need to work and we need to push. So I would like to say thank you to you All know right. to the NEC and the staff. Over them. Thank you. Them, yes. Awesome, Philip. Thank you very, very much. So there you go. Nurturing local talent and you see where this takes them. So I, I'm, I'm so happy for you, Philip. Thank you very much for uh, bringing your works with and for chatting to us here on the program. That was Philip Matloko. And if you want to get a hold of him, here's his email address. It's pmatloko at gmail.com. And that's p-m-a-t-l-h-o-k-o -O at gmail.com. And uh, that's how he works doing commissions. So let's go back to Joburg right now and get you some sports.